Good evening, I'm Victoria Hetherington and thanks for joining us. First up tonight, an Australian couple accused of abandoning their own child with Down syndrome. More alarming are the fresh revelations of the biological father's extensive history of sexual child abuse. You're watching tomorrow's news today and here's our exclusive report. Australian couple David and Wendy Farnell are currently at the centre of an international surrogacy controversy after returning from Thailand with only one of their biological children, leaving baby Gammy with his Thai surrogate mother. Gammy, who has Down syndrome, was separated from his healthy twin sister, Tipper, on Sunday the 10th of August after his biological parents returned with her to their hometown of Bunbury, Western Australia. So why was Gammy really left behind? The twins Thai surrogate mother, Patharam Jumbaya, was left with baby Gammy after he was abandoned and says she will raise him and that she felt sorry for him. Miss Patharaman has two other children who are aged three and six. The couple claims they were never told about the boy's existence, which Patharaman strongly disputes saying they rejected Gammy and returned to Australia with only his twin sister. Mr and Mrs Farnell decided to use a surrogate after they were unable to conceive naturally. 21-year-old Mrs Patharaman fell pregnant with twins and when she reached the four-month mark of her pregnancy, a test revealed that baby Gammy had Down syndrome. The biological couple reportedly ordered her to have an abortion. The Farnell couple also expected that their money would be refunded because, quote, no parent wants a son with a disability. Gammy's surrogate mother refused and gave birth to both children, as abortion is sinful in Thai culture. While Wendy's age has been kept suppressed, David Farnell, who's aged 57, had his horrifying history of child sexual abuse made public to the whole of Australia, following this surrogacy controversy. At age 39, Mr Farnell first appeared at court to face assault charges, dating back to when he was 25 to 26 years of age. Farnell was convicted of sex offences, including three young girls, aged 5, 7 and 10. Documents write of secretive meetings held between the girls and him in a garden shed. He was jailed for three years. While serving his sentence, Farnell was charged with six additional counts of indecently assaulting children under the age of 13 and was convicted and sentenced again. At the second sentencing in 1998 by Judge Gunning, Mr Farnell was told he showed no remorse. This is what Judge O'Sullivan had to say regarding David Farnell and his victims at his first sentencing. They are prone to depression, they have difficulties in forming relationships and they suffer from sexual problems. None of that is surprising because you, by your conduct, robbed these girls of their childhood. And for that reason, it's fair to say that the law takes a strict view of offences of this kind. Tomorrow's News Today spoke to the Australian Child Protection Authorities and they revealed that they're currently reviewing the couple's suitability to be parents and may consider taking action to remove their daughter. The family's dog was also removed from their home by the RSPCA raising suspicions that the couple may have abandoned the animal. We'll keep you updated on the latest from this tragic story. If you want to support Baby Gammy, you can do so by visiting the website on the bottom of your screen now or by searching Hands Across the Water for more information. Now we turn to social media and see what the public is saying about.